Hello everyone, it's Francis with Your Book of Memories. Again, I'm back with a brand new project, and this one I cannot wait to show you. joining me for this new project share for all my newcomers. Welcome. And for everyone here again, I'm so glad to be here with you. I have decided to actually paint directly onto my album and I was just absolutely stoked to do this. The paper line that I used for this complete acetate book, with the exception of a couple details, were thanks to the Paper Studio in Bloom Designs. Fantastic paper from Hobby Lobby. I did use my 40% off coupon for that. Now this is a totally new style. It's a complete acetate, pages and all, and I absolutely love the way this turned out. Now I do already have a tutorial available on my website on how to construct this entire book from start to finish, so I'll leave that in the description box below. There's this frame here. You can see right through it, okay? And it's layered, and I absolutely love it, and there also are some photos included in here as well. So here's the back. It's just a gorgeous style book. Now I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross and William Alexander, so I did do an acrylic style painting lesson also included in the tutorial as well. So I am just way stoked. Don't be intimidated. There's just a couple illusions with three different values of color and suddenly you got mountainscape and it's just, it's, it's just so much fun. And this book design was greatly inspired by Joanna Rivera here on YouTube. I will leave a link to her channel as well. She's an absolute terrific artisan. And as you can tell, it is a Bob Ross style. So this is a tribute to him because him and his mentor seriously have a special place in my heart. And I wouldn't be as great as I am without art instructors as great as them. And I'm just so happy to be here. I also demonstrate how I kind of do some lettering here, so that was really simple. And I just wrote Adventure and Fussy Cut around that. This fantastic paper. Suzanne, thank you again so much. You've totally turned me to this beautiful specialty paper. I fussy cut some images out of the paper line right here and actually wrapped the book itself in that, as well as this. And so here's the front cover. I'm just thrilled with the way this turned out. So on the front and side cover, you can see the back layering here, and I did do a little bit of chalk marker embellishment here. I fussy cut this whole piece out of the paper line, and it fits perfectly right here. And again, I have that wonderful specialty paper and my mountainscape from behind. I did fussy cut some more images here, and Samson took this photo of me. The pages are just so cute. I'm just, I'm thrilled, okay? And this holds a small amount of photos, and it comes together in just a couple hours but you can customize this and put another little tiny photo here if you wanted. There's so many different things you can do. <laughs> and there are my shoes right there at the beach and I did doodle on the back since we can see through and I thought it had a good contrasting element to decorate the pages. Again, for those of you new here, I am an art instructor specified in these mini albums and handmade scrapbooks. So right now I have over 1900 amazing students and a Facebook community of over 460 of them interacting and sharing their projects together. If you're curious to see what my online video classes look like, stay tuned in after this walkthrough. I'll be playing a tutorial trailer. I cannot wait to see what you all create following the tutorial. I'm just, I'm stoked to see it. And look at this, another element here, just so cute. I'm just gonna bring that closer so you can see the detail. The shine and shimmer, you can't, you can't leave it out. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here again, we have some doodles on the back, a little leaf. We went to this really fun place in a succulent store outdoor, and it was just so fun. <laughs> Samson always gives us a little bit of a hard time when he's trying to take pictures. <laughs> some more little images there. There's grandpa and dad, and you know what? Look at this beautiful silhouette of Samson. I absolutely love it. And look how simple that is. This is something you can do. Again, I will be playing a tutorial trailer after this. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Remember, you can do this. You can leave it out if you want and put a photo in there. You could put sequins in there, make it a shaker card, whatever it is that you want. But if you attempt it, you're gonna understand the concept and you will be well on your way and you will 100% surprise yourself. So thank you again, everyone, so much for watching. I'll see you over in the class. Bye.
Hello my friend and thank you again so much for joining me. Welcome to the Acetate Album Tutorial. This is a quick and simple transparent style book. I will also be using some scissors, a scoring tool, a bone folder. I will also be using some name brand score tape in 3 8 of an inch as well as quarter inch. So that's what the packaging looks like. I just get mine from Amazon. Some paper towels if you have any. <laughs> in bloom paper collection. Now there's tons of different papers in here. It's got the foil accents, some plaid. Okay, beautiful watercolor botanicals and draw a nice light line. Bring my ruler to my pencil. Straighten it out. So if you're left or right handed, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to kind of paint a structure on here. Any way that I want it to be. And I'm going to work small. Okay, I'm going to focus on not being very big. Don't judge yourself too much. Just let it just let it happen. Okay? And we're gonna trail off like this. Okay, once you have that piece again, we need to add adhesive inside here. You could do a different method if you wanted. You can add just two strips of quarter inch score tape. I'm gonna slide this in to where the end of this white color ends at the end of this plastic. Then I got a nice border right here. My piece is prepared already. But I think this goes beautifully here. 